As summer comes to an end, we humans will be getting back into our fall routines. But what about our four-legged friends? Dave Salmoni is here from the OSPCA with tips for getting your dog back into a routine. And TK, we know you're part of a big walk together that you do. That's, right. That's coming up at the end of September, and you're an ambassador for them. But first, we're going to talk about getting the pooches back into routine, Dave. Yeah, get into fall, so we got to start thinking about, you know, getting sort of the, the healthier lifestyle going again. I think people sort of take the routine a little bit uh, liberally. Yeah. So what we start with, obviously, is food. You know, okay. if, if our food goes off, too many barbecues, too many late nights, uh, similar for the dogs. They're getting the leftovers, things like that. We need to start getting them on more healthy things. Here are some healthy treats. Our volunteer at OSPACA made us some organic oatmeal apple treats. It sounds delicious. Yeah, they, it's wonderful. You want to have one of those? You know? so, Basically, instead of giving those high fat treats that uh, you know they might get, they might enjoy all these organic things. So we've got some pumpkin based ones here. Um, all of them just sort of low calorie kind so of stuff. So lean, mean, low calorie yeah, protein. Get, get all the fat out of there, just like us. You know, it, it's basically saying that you're still giving them that reward that makes them feel good. Hey, you've been a good dog. But uh, clean takes, up the diet. Takes away the diet. Yeah. Because they've been eating our summer scraps. Now another okay. another big problem that we find typically is when you get back in that fall routine, especially if you've got kids or the summer holidays are over, is that there's a lot more time at home alone for the dogs. Yeah. So you got to start thinking of like the behavioral enrichment type things. So the stuff that's going to challenge the dog's brain. Because so they get lonely. They're they used to having lonely. you around all summer to play with them. Yeah. And, and you're also they're also stimulated, right? You're going yeah. outside. You're going to the cottage. You're going to have people over. But now I'm four hours at home. What do I do? So yeah. we brought a bunch of enrichment toys. And all they really are are just fun things to grab and pull and play. You know, things like this where they actually have to learn how to take the toys out of the holes. That's called Think Rageous Interactive Pet Toy. So you need things that challenges them because it's got to last more than 10 seconds. And you can go to the store. Uh, Global Pets, uh, they donated these the ones for us to have today. But they come in all shapes and sizes. You've got to see what your dog may like. And it's just something you give them. Just to be excited, entertained. So not they don't bored. eat your designer shoes, right, TK? Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> and the last sort of thing that we talk about is the fact that you know, you're, you know, all of us maybe get a little softer over the summer. Yeah. Your dog also gets mildly softer. <laughs> Too much over eating over the summer. Well, yes, clearly, Dave, you have become soft. I, I recognize that. My wife is all over me about my softness and my dog's softness. So, as you're thinking about getting back into shape, so you should think about your dog. Now. The easy stuff is just take them for walks. Dogs love to go for a walk, just getting out there. As we're doing a walk, we're going to try to encourage a lot of that stuff. Yep. But it's also kind of thing where you can, you know, go to the park and, and get a workout in. Although it is fall, you know, you, you wear your, your nice fall clothes. So these guys can sort of be your weights, you know, your thing. So I always tell people some of the things you can do are just, especially something this size, you're holding them here. Like a weight. Like a weight. So this would be a little bit like a 10 pound weight. Yeah, yeah. Now you can do your lunges, right? You can do your little side lunges. Your you yoga. can do your squats. You can do your yoga. One of my favorite things, if your dog is a little bit bigger, you can have them lay down in front of you. You do your little planks. And you switch arms. You switch one arm, pat him on the head. Switch the other arm, pat him on the That's head. That's awesome. And so your dog's getting all the fun enrichment stuff while you're getting your workouts in. Great idea. Other times you lean over and you're just like back straight. You're lifting him <laughs> up. Your, lots of things. Oh, yeah, oh, double. You can bring two. Have double bicep curls. It's curl. a rolling wow. dog pound. You, dog you, pound. you literally you can you can make it as much fun. Find what the exercise you like to do and include your pets. Here, do you want to try two? Yeah, By let's the do way, it. guys, two. these oh. two dolls will be up for adoption oh. next week. Two. Okay, next week. Make sure you join Dave and TK, who's an awesome ambassador. It's called the Friends for Life Walk. Yeah. It's happening September 24th and 25th. You love this event. I do, yes. Uh, uh, my old dog, Louise, and I used to be uh, honorary ambassadors for the uh, Friends for Life Walk, and we still are. So. And you don't need to have a dog to sign up and register. No, it's a full fun day. Uh, you know, you can bring your dogs, your families. It's like got hot dogs and hamburgers and, and a talent competition for the dogs, so it's a lot of fun. Awesome. And Dave will be there flexing his muscles. <laughs> Breakfast Television for more right now to our top dog, Kevin Frankish, in the newsroom. <laughs>